my lookbook sewing projects behind the scenes that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers and welcome to FSB TV and I'm Colleen G Lee and if you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Colleen and if you enjoy refashioning new and old clothes, fashion sewing tutorials, I'm doing something a bit different with this one because I'm actually going to take you through the process of when I actually start designing and pattern drafting and sewing a garment from beginning to end. So it will be a small series, I think roughly about five maybe. It won't be it won't be any more than five um, and I want to do a live Q&A so if you're interested in anything like that you know wanting to ask me questions then please put them in the comment box below so let's get started so I've pulled a couple of fabrics out of my stash these two I'd love to make both of these up for winter this year mm. um, I'm liking this one. I, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. Checks and plaids are so much in fashion right now and it's probably the reason why I pulled this one out. But I do like this and I've had them both for many, many years. So they do need to be sewn. They do. Um, but I'm going to go with this one. I think I've had this one the longest, I'm not sure. But um, it's a chenille type fabric. And it's quite a sturdy fabric as well, so um, I won't have to use any stabilisation, fingers crossed. Um, but the kind of design that I'm going for, it will make it difficult to anyway. But, um, but there's other ways you can kind of get stiffness in certain areas of a garment that I probably will be doing and I'll show you that. So yeah. I definitely will be going with this one. This is the right side. How gorgeous is that? I'll wait one minute. And this is the wrong side. How gorgeous is that? I cannot make up my mind. So I will be definitely making a two-way jacket. Coat. It's going to be a coat. So I can wear it this way and I can wear it that way. So it's going to be a reversible, reversible jack coat. Why am I saying jacket? It's going to be a reversible coat. It's going to be a long one as well. So I'm going to show you how I go about thinking about my design process. I usually kind of get the fabric and hold it against my body and dream about what kind of style I want to achieve. And um, yeah, I'll just give you a quick demo of how I do that and then I will show you how I do my quick design and the processes thereafter. This is going to be part of my design process. This is what I usually do. I get my fabric and then I kind of just wrap it around my body just to help me with how I'm going to possibly, ooh, a slight A-line, that may work. Um, and then I just kind of let the fabric talk to me I suppose so yeah I, I was thinking about having it just below my knees but no I think I think I'm gonna go calf length yeah definitely calf length I like that and because it's quite a sturdy fabric um, I just hope that the ideas I've got about not having start because it's going to be a reversible coat should work and it's going to be like semi fitted so oh this fabric is gorgeous so that's the way it looks on the this is the right side of the fabric and this is the wrong side which is just as gorgeous so I think I'm making the right oh yeah yeah, definitely making the right choice there. Gives me a lot more options as well. So yeah, definitely know it's going to be semi-fitted. It's going to be three-quarter length. And I'm just going to have to work my ideas around any design issues I may have. I think the only possible thing I'm going to have is when it comes to, you no, know, the seams are going to be a flat belt seam. So that's fine. Um, 
it's, it's just the pockets, the pockets, I've got to give that some thought and also the hemline and the armhole, that's going to be another thing, yeah the armhole will be, no I'll, I'll solve that as I go along, I've got ideas in my head that, that I know will, that I'll experiment with to see whether it will work, but that is really nice, Look, let me show you that. So give that kind of long, clean silhouette. So yeah, so that's going to be my first approach to my design process and then I'll just start sketching. So let me just show you my design. Um, as you can see, this is my coat. This is, this is what, I've, what I'm hoping to achieve. So as you can see, it's um, coming around like so. And then it smooths down into the shoulder. Um, and then I've got this fitted sleeve and patch pocket and it just goes straight down. And it's going to be slits at the side. So I, I usually only just draw half and then I use the other side in which to make notes. I don't need to draw, draw both sides, it's just for me. So um, yeah, I'm not trying to impress anybody. Um, so I just draw the, I just usually just draw half the design. So I'm happy with the design. Now I'm in the mindset of where I think I'm going to have problems. So where I think I'm going to have problems is going to be the pocket. Because it's a reversible coat, that means the patch pocket, I have to decide which side I want the patch pocket to be on because I don't want patch pocket on both sides because that will just make the coat really bulky. So, I'm going to spend a few moments kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with that. Because I, I am going to have a patch pocket. That is for sure. I definitely am going to have my patch pocket. But I need to think about what I'm going to do for the other side. Yeah, so I haven't... Oh, my hair. I haven't made a reversible coat in a very, very long time. And I do remember the very first one I made, it was grey. It was grey with pink and black stripes going through it. It was gorgeous. It was kind of like a, a cocoon type coat. And I actually etched, etched the, it was etch to etch and then edge round it. And it was, yeah, very popular during this time. I'm not sure if one of my sisters actually, yeah, decided that they were going to have it as part of their wardrobe, which usually is the case when you've got sisters and you can sew. <laughs> yes, um, my sisters love them dearly, but still. Anyway, so that is my pattern that I'm going to be making some adjustments to. Right, the style of coat that I'm going for is going to have slits at the sides, just like the mustard coat, and it's going to be edge to edge. But I also want to have like a high collar, so it's going to be an all-in-one collar. So I'm going to draft the all-in-one collar so it comes from the back here and it comes around here like so and it will just be touching. And because I'm not going to line it, and as I said before, it, it may be a little bit difficult when you come to put it on and off. But, you know, it's fashion, what can I say? Um, but I will bear that in mind in what I wear underneath that coat because I also want the sleeve to be fitted the fabric saying to me, fit the sleeves, get the sleeves fitted. So I'm going to make the sleeve quite fitted. In other words, I'm going to put a dart in the sleeve um, to make sure that I've got that the kind of illusion that it is fitted. And so it's not a straight sleeve and it looks shape and it gives a tailored look and that's what I'm trying to achieve. And hopefully that will work because I'm not making a 12 for this. And going just by instinct and the fact that and experience that once I've done the adjustments to the front of the coat and obviously I'm going to do adjustments to the back because I also need to alter the armhole and also the shoulder in the back as well um, but knowing me I won't do a pattern for that I'll probably just um, do the lay this pattern onto my fabric and um, I'll cut around it that way um i probably won't show you that technique <laughs> um especially if you're uh, just starting out these are the kind of tricks that you do once you become experienced and you know what to look for 
and um, you know some of the uh, tricks that I'll be using it you may not quite understand it so um, and that's fine that's absolutely fine you, you should if you're experienced at drafting your own clothing then you will take those shortcuts and there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking shortcuts um, I usually note everything down when I am doing my shortcuts particularly if I know that it can be a tricky pattern but this is going to be quite easy to do if anything's going to be, be a little bit challenging is um, maybe the collar and the fact that I'm not stabilizing any part of the collar I may stable all the eyes just the back so to make sure it stands up um, but I can't see me doing anything else other than that and I want the fabric to be the center of attention I know I want pockets so I'm going to do my usual patch pockets that you um, put your hands in from the sides. I don't like patch pockets that go, you know, where you put your hands in that way. I like my patch pockets where you put them in like as though they're an inseam pocket. That's how I like my pocket, patch pockets to be. So, yeah, I definitely will be doing it that way. So that's a little bit about how um, I design. So and I tend to do my working stages because I'm doing other things um, and uh, I, I'm shortly going to be doing a, a YouTube video tutorial that I usually do for my channel. So um, the way I work is that I tend to do it in stages. So I think about the design or think about the fabric and then the design, you know, whatever comes first and then I do my pattern and then that's it. You know, for however long it takes, that will be the stage at which I stop. Is when I start, and is when I completed the drafting of the pattern, and then the next stage will be the cutting out of the pattern. And depending on my time scale, I may start to baste and fit. So the next stage of this series is that I will show you how I am going to cut. My fabric I may show you because my, my table is quite narrow um, so I may just I'll probably just show you the pattern I'll just have to see how I go because like I said this video is kind of um, new to the channel and a few of you have been requesting me to show you the whole process of my um, sewing projects how I go about it the processes that I do so if I can I will do but more than likely I may be cutting out on the floor and it's going to be awkward for me to actually film that and I don't really want to, you know, to have my body in the way, you know, while I'm trying to cut around corners and what have you. So I'll just do my best to show you the most important parts of the process that, I'm, that I'll be doing. So like I said, the next stage is going to be me drafting my pattern and then it'll be ready to be cut out on fabric. So... There probably be another two, possibly three, to this series. So, if you're interested in me showing you my sewing projects, please put those in the comment box below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and do share. And I will see you in the next video.